The Twitter files released show that Democrats not only wanted to label things misinformation they disagreed with and have them removed, but they actually admitted the problem was that Twitter and other social media didn't do it more often. Because if they did, in the words of these Democrats, it would result in Republicans no longer using these platforms to spread misinformation. That's right, what this is is an admission from Democrats that their goal all along was to label things critical of them misinformation, even when it's not true, such as the Hunter Biden laptop story that actually was true. But they looked at that situation and said, the problem with Twitter wasn't that they removed it. It's that if they just removed more evidence that was critical of Democrats, Biden, etc., then Republicans would give up and stop posting on these platforms altogether. This is ultimately the end goal of the Democrats. When they talk over and over about having people come to Capitol Hill from social media and say they need to censor disinformation more, what they mean are things like the Hunter Biden laptop story, which are accurate stories stories that are critical of the establishment and of the Democrat regime. That's what they want. And as this shows, this internal communication from Twitter, what it shows is Democrats were upset that there wasn't more of this going on to interfere in the election and to interfere in our democracy. And what their ultimate goal is, is to stop all Republicans from using these platforms. That's why they're really freaked out over Elon Musk buying Twitter. They're not worried that Elon's going to do to them what they wanted to do to conservatives and left-wingers and centrists that disagree with their establishment policies, they're concerned that they'll no longer be able to do that to conservatives and actually Twitter will be someplace that's more even-handed. Their ideas are so bad that they need to rely on censorship and control of the narrative in order to have them achieved. Let's look at the actual internal Twitter document in question. It says Democrats complained that companies are inept. They let conservatives muddy the water and make the Biden campaign look corrupt, even though Biden is innocent. Notice how they are proclaiming that all of this story was fake from the get-go. They link this to Hillary's email scandal. She did nothing wrong because the press wouldn't let the story go. It became a scandal out of proportion. That's not true. Hillary did do wrong things, including having her team delete subpoenaed evidence. Just because the FBI is corrupt and chose not to charge her doesn't mean she did nothing wrong. They continue, in their mind, social media is doing the same thing. It doesn't moderate enough harmful content. So when it does, like it did yesterday, it becomes a story. If the companies moderated more, in other words, censored conservatives more, conservatives wouldn't even think to use social media for disinformation, misinformation, or otherwise. The Democrats were in agreement. Social media needs to moderate more because they're corrupting democracy and making all truth relative. When pushed on how the government might insist on that, consistent with the First Amendment, they've demurred. The First Amendment isn't absolute. Now, this is the most important line here. People are focusing on the First Amendment, which is true. But they say that they think that if we would just censor more of these stories that end up being accurate, truthful stories that are critical of Biden and the Democrats, such as the Hunter Biden laptop story, that Republicans wouldn't even use social media for what they call disinformation and misinformation, which is anything critical of them, or otherwise. In other words, let's just get Republicans off social media in totality. That's what the Democrats want. These two things are not the same. I'll criticize Republicans when they deserve it. But what we see here is that the Democrats are actively pressuring social media companies to censor their opposition. When they freak out and gnash their teeth about, oh my God, Elon buying Twitter. Imagine, Ari Melber from MSNBC said, imagine he could censor stories that are critical of Republicans. That's exactly what the, it's been going on with election interference from Twitter. And that's exactly what the Democrats want. They want that to continue. They want a landscape where they control 95% of the media and they're worried about people being able to discuss stories critical of them on social media. And so they want a landscape when those stories are up. Make no mistake, the Democrats know their party is so bad that they rely on this totalitarian censorship because they know if people are able to freely discuss how corrupt and bad their ideas are, that they'll lose their grip on power.